Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kenny Debbie. In today's video, I'm going to be making a purple blunt cut. Purple blunt cut. So guys, let me to like, let me to subscribe. Subscription is actually free. Please, let me to like. So let's go straight to the video. welcome back to my channel welcome back so i'm going to be making making use of darling braid and this is super pack size so um you make use of super braid super pack so i make use of super pack one pack is actually enough so this is my mannequin head this is my da mannequin head and this is a swiss lace i'm going to be using for this video this is a lace net then this is my needle my needle and thread and this is my crochet pin and my ventilating pin so this is actually my ventilating pin um i hope you guys can see it so this is my ventilating pin. and this is my net this is my net this is the net i'm going to be using for this video so guys this is me just trying to put it on the mannequin and then i'm going to place my sweet lace on it and start sewing so this is how it look like uh if you watch my final video on how i ventilate how to ventilate the closure you see how i lay my closure because it must be in it must be straight like in, in diagonal form so that it's going to be easy for easy ventilation so this is how i place my lace net you can see me using my pin to lay it down so that the thing will be firm and straight so you you are going to make use of your needle and everything so that the thing is going to lay when so when you start sewing it down it's not going to be as difficult as you guys think so this is me just trying to place make the net stay very well and firm on the needle on the mannequin head so guys after i'm done with the laying out of the swiss lace so i'll be sewing it down with my thread with my needle so this is me just trying to show you guys how i how i sew so when you get to this side you make sure the thing is 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 very firm very firm and make sure when you are when you are sewing you make the thing as tight as possible and be careful of the swiss lace so that the thing won't get through and mind you guys the kind of swiss lace you guys are going to be making use of must be a original net so that when you are when you are ventilating on it or when you are crocheting it won't run so this is me sewing that you can see that i'm actually following the the pin so guys you can try it in as much i do it you can do it so guys have you click on that subscribe button let me to do that right now thank you guys i love you guys let's support your girl we are in this together um thank you guys i love you so this is me just sewing it down so when you get to the front so make sure when you are sewing it make sure it's very like it's very neat and you're following the 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 pin like that's the that's your length that's the market so that is it then you after sewing it down you try and cut out the excess lace um so after cutting the you try to cut the excess lace so this is me just trying to cut the excess lace so after doing that and you remain one inches at the front so that is one inches and you remove your pin so after remove your pin you you have to cut the excess lace underneath the 
sweet lace so this is me just trying to show you guys how the things look like after sewing it down so this is it then i'm going to be making use of my scissors to cut out the lace underneath the sweet lace so watch me as i cut So guys this is how it's looking like after cutting the net underneath the sweet stays so you now place it back on your mannequin head or your dummy head so this is me just trying to show you guys how it's looking like after cutting out the excess lids underneath the underneath the this thing so this is my this is the attachment actually the back i cut it into six then the front i cut it into six so this is how you cut your attachment you cut the back into six then the front into five so th that is the size i cut my attachment so this is me just using the crochet pin i see that you guys can see it i know that most of us should know how to use a crochet pin and if you don't know how to use a crochet pin you can just put it down in the comment section and i'll know what to do in my next video okay guys so this is me just braiding and braiding so this is the size i'm using for my twist so this is just how i make i i do it until it gets to the top so i can see that you can see it so it's very so this is me after finishing the all things i i don't need to show the long method because it actually takes time so this is me so the front part is the major part so let's just tell ourselves that we can do it i want you guys to just tell yourself that i can do it so this is the front part this is how it's looking like so this is where we are going to be needing our ventilating pin so this is my ventilating pin in case you guys don't know what we call ventilating pin this is actually a ventilating pin and you can get it in on amazon so if you guys shop on and because i actually get this um, from a vendor in nigeria and she's actually saying yanopaja i don't know if any of you knows that so i can put a whatsapp number there so that you guys can just call her out okay so this is how this is my ventilating pin and i'm just the needle the pin i put here is just to locate the middle point of the net so after doing it then i start ventilating for you guys for those that don't know how to ventilate if you want me to make um a beginner friendly ventilating how to ventilate you can just put it down in the comment section and i promise you guys that i will make a video on it and if you feel like this is um you want to learn another thing or you want more from you from me you can just put it down in the comment section i promise to get back to you guys so i hope you are learning one or two things so this is how i ventilate you make sure you follow the straight line so that the pattern will be more visible and very neat so you take it i'm just taking two strand here two strand at times i'll take one strand so this is how i make the front and just watch it so when i think i should come in i'll come in guys so anything any question you felt you need to ask on this you can just put it down in the comment section and i will address all of it all so thank you guys thank you for clicking i'm very happy that you guys are watching it thank you very much thank you very much you keep me going because i felt like um when i make video for people people can actually learn i also learn it online so you guys can just grab one or two things so this is how it's looking like after ventilating you can say i ventilate two to three line in 
one part and the other side so this is how it's looking like you can see it's giving so um and if you guys felt you can use purple attachment you can actually look use black because some people be like you use uh closure but i actually make use of purple so that it's going to be like as if i thin the air so this is it then i braid i started braiding the front part so watch me i i braid so guys on the front part after after um braiding everything this is i make use of my crochet pin for the rest after using the ventilating pin so you can see me how i use my vent. i've actually braid some um at the side so you start just you use your ventilating pin and everything so this is my ventilating pin that i use to ventilate my braid and this is what is giving like after after ventilating it so the front part will cover it and in as much you are using good sweet slate it's not going to tour it's not going to get thrown so we are done with our blonde so it's time to go straight to the blonde cut so this is my hot water this is our hot water that i'm going to be making the blonde cut um so this is our air i'm putting it inside the hot water then you clean it with your towel i first i begin with the tip then the front part so this is me just putting it on guys see water is very hot you can see the the smoke so this is it this is it oh so guys so this is what is looking like after putting it into hot water so it is time to make the blunt cut it is time to make the blunt cut this is a moment i've been waiting for so because this is actually my first time trying this blunt cut so guys this is your scissors then you place it on your hand then you start cutting Start cutting with your blade and uh, with your scissors and mind you guys let the scissors be very sharp this is what i'm using i don't know what is wrong with it um so i just try to manage it to make the plant cut so this is me just cutting it off just make sure your hand is placed and of the in the middle of the pattern and you use the other hand to do the cutting so this is what is looking like after cutting so what you need now is your hot water so i'll be pouring another hot water then i'll dip the tip of the air into it so that it won't loose so uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. so i'm done putting it in hot water then you just wipe it and this is how the tip is looking like then you have your blonde cut you have your blonde cut thank you for watching hope you have me to subscribe hope you have me to like thank you and you can watch my previous video or now i subscribe so this is how it is looking like after it has been dry thank you guys for watching i love you guys i love you i love you try it and let's vibe I'll put my um, WhatsApp number and Facebook link on how you can get this. If you feel like you want this, you want this type of air, I can make it and sell to you guys. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hope you learn one or two things. Hope you have subscribed. Hope you have liked. I mean to share this video. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. This is Kenny Debbie once again. Thanks for stopping by. You always and you forever. Bye. Bye.